All right, everyone, as dusk falls, I'm excited. I've heard very good things about this game. Being that it's a narrative-based game, one important thing is that the plot is good. I've actually heard this game has a ridiculously good plot. Also has a unique art style, which I'm curious how that's going to pan out here for the playthrough. One thing I'd like to say, oh, wow. It has all kinds of shit going on in it, apparently, it says, in the warning. It basically says, there's all kinds of serious shit going on, so be careful when you're playing this game. You know, sensitivity warning. Ladies and gentlemen, I love narrative-based games, and I'm going to experience this one with you. If it ends up being really good, and we want to go back after the fact of beating it the first time and maybe doing alternate choices, I'd be down for that, too, as long as you guys are. So be sure to let me know over the course of the game what you think. If you're watching this on live on the stream right now, remember a great way to help out is to like the stream and let people know I'm playing the game. It'll help for uh, press A to start engagement purposes. Oh, press A to start is said engagement purposes. You know, so people will know that I'm playing. They can find my content on YouTube. Same thing if you're watching this on demand after the fact. Okay, if you would like to like the videos and leave comments to let me know what you think about what's going on in the game, I would absolutely love to see that. Okay, so it looks like settings here. Oh, hold on. I just heard the music. Camera shake vibration. Number of overrides. Not sure what that means. I'm not going to do an extended timer. Brightness is, brightness looks fine to me. Oh, wait. Subtitles on. Closed captions. So, text description for in-game sound effects and non-spoken audio. Probably not. We'll probably just go with the straight-up subtitles. So, by the way, I actually heard this game has an incredible amount of accessibility options. My, you know, my longtime fan and viewer, Super Blind Man, was rejoicing this morning. He, he got the game, he's playing it, he loves it. He's like, I can't believe it. They, they actually did an insanely good job. It's rare when a game has accessibility options that lets someone who's blind fully experience the game by themselves, and you can do it with this one. So these guys, right from the get-go, get credit for putting the extra mile in for accessibility. It's really nice. Okay, I don't even need text-to-speech or any of that. Controls will leave by default. And uh, installs. Everything's installed here. I don't think we need the Chinese voice acting or French voice acting, so we're probably good there. Let's just make sure there's nothing I'm missing here. Maybe I am... Uh, subtitle color default. Oh, here we go. Let's do medium-sized subtitles. Medium. We don't want to do extra large. We'll do medium. Master volume. Voice chat. Okay. Voice chat. I guess that's if you're doing multiplayer. Well, choice. There's a choice timer. Interesting. Broadcast mode timer? Set the choice timer in broadcast mode. Changing it to 20 seconds may affect the viewer's voting. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. I totally forgot about this, that some of these games have an online mode where you guys could vote. We're not doing that. I don't trust you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. I want to control the outcome here. I don't trust you guys at all. You guys will have people jumping off cliffs and flushing their heads down the fucking toilet and shit. Sorry. I, I'm going to try to keep them alive. Okay. Do you want to leave this picture? Discard? No, no, no. I don't want I, Oh, I didn't hit apply. Here we go. Apply. <laughs> LeBron says, oh, that's lame. Yeah, dude, I know exactly what will happen. They'll be dead in five seconds. You guys will be putting their, their fucking... Dicks and blenders and shit. I'm not stupid. Come on. <laughs> I know what's going on here. All right. It looks like we got a super chat from Wings of Temptation saying, make assless chaps a $250 goal. So I'm glad we're getting the stupidity out of the way before we start playing. Let's just uh, get them on the leaderboard and say, gee, thanks for the first super chat of the night. Nod and, and move on. Wings of Temptation. Watt. His name is Watt. Watt? Oy, oy, oy. Okay, new story. Here we go. Play solo. You can play as this falls using our free mobile app. No, I don't want to use your mobile app, but thanks for the offer, I guess. I'll use a controller. Begin. Begin. Oh, wait. Do I have to do a profile? Add new profile. Oh. So, I'll do me. I guess different profiles for different stories. Like, for example, if you're playing it, but someone else in your house is playing it, you want different files. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so how to play. Move the cursor to find hidden interactions. Use the D-pad to navigate. So there's two different... Wow, that's interesting. So you look at a photo. Wow, that's a little different. It's kind of like a point-and-click game then, like on PC, huh? Yeah, okay. Make decisions. Highlight your favorite option and press A to select. Press B on your controller to deselect it. 
So look, go for it, stick to the plan, or he's a cop! Okay. Oh, yes, I do, Derek. You remember I did the Batman Telltale game with crowd play, and that didn't go so well. Anyway, quick actions. Perform on-screen instructions before the timer elapses to complete quick actions. Go to settings, gameplay to change it. So basically, it's quick time events? Yes, swipe. Swipes? How do you swipe? How would you... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, they're showing you swipe means either thumbstick. Okay, so whenever it says swipe, you're moving the direction with the thumbstick. Got it. Personal insights. At the end of each chapter, discover how your choices reveal hidden insights about your values, personality, and gameplay style. Well, you know I'm going to be a complete asshole. We already know that, right? I know. Nathan Wong says, wouldn't swipe make sense for the PS5 touchpad? Yeah, except this isn't on PS5 or PS4. It's only on Xbox consoles and PC, so... Maybe that wasn't what they were intending originally, but that's how it turned out. Okay, um... Cowboy Hat has won. And now we're going to do a poll for the vest. But we're going to get jump into the game while you guys start voting on the vest. Okay? So let's end this poll, get the new one started, and then we'll jump in. Okay. Alright, new poll. Here we go. Which vest is best at dusk? I just love that. We already did platinum vests, and we just did gold vest recently. So let's do beige, blue... Red and gray. No, you know what? We'll do denim. We'll do those four. Beige, blue, red, and denim vest. All right. Yeehaw! You ready for a, a, a good premiere here, everyone? I don't know why the hell I said yeehaw. Let's go. Loading. React quickly to the game events. Yeah, because there's action-based events. So I got to be on the ball. Got to be on the ball. Can't be getting people killed because I'm not paying attention and reading stream chat. Oh, shit! Tap here to start. Here we go. Give it a tap -a -roo. A tap 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 -a -roo. Here we go. Well, someone's already I dead. Knew Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. She's dead. She's drowned. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Oh, she's Not she's training, holding her breath. That's interesting. But for the calm that comes beforehand, when thoughts die. You know what this art style reminds me of? Okay, hold on. I wanted to test that, and it worked. This art style reminds me of a comic book that I read a long time ago. It's a very iconic, Kingdom Come. It was supposed to be a what-if scenario, the future of the DC Universe, if all the heroes in the Justice League basically became, like, villains, and basically, uh... Invite Code. Now, what is this? I don't like this already. I might have to quit. <laughs> what is Invite Code? No, I might have to pull the plug on this one. I don't like this. I don't want people joining my game. The subtitles are blocked. Oh, so you want me to... Okay. I should move the leaderboard to the top. And that invite code is no good. I don't want people joining my game. <laughs> How do you have an invite code? That's not good. Maybe I could pull the plug on the console. What happens if I pull the plug on the console? Will it still work? <laughs> I'm glad that I stopped. We might have to start over. What the hell is invite code? I don't like that at all. I don't know how that would even work because I said solo, right? I said solo. So why would it have an invite code on a screen? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I said solo. Anyway. um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything about it, right? I don't see anything about people joining the game. If it says people join the game, uh, I guess we're going to quit out... <laughs> What is going on? I just don't want people fucking fucking around with it, you know. But anyway, no. What I was gonna say is, uh, let me let me move the leaderboard while I say this. Uh, Kingdom Come. <clears throat> it is artwork very similar to this game, where all the characters look like basically paintings. Um, and it was a very interesting plot line where the DC heroes, the, like the Justice League, were much older, and they actually became villains rather than heroes. Like they were ruling the Earth with an iron fist, and Superman was this like dictator and stuff like that. Of course, that, that plot line's now been done a million times, so. Oh, is that what it is? Gabriel Chaos says that code lets people connect the app to the game. Okay. I see. Hey, look, there's a fake Derek in the chat, so let's push block him. Because the real Derek's already here, so I know this is a fake one. Get him the fuck out of here. <clears throat> okay. Are we good? 
We good to resume. Ah, what did I just click? I just want to make sure that wasn't the real Derek. I'm pretty sure it wasn't because uh, it didn't have the membership attached to it either. I think it's a faker. It is a faker. Wait, no, it's the real one. It was the real Derek. All right, it was the real Derek. I guess his membership expired. All right, Derek, I unbanned you. I swear it wasn't you because <laughs> I didn't know it was really you because I guess your membership expired, but I scrolled up and I saw your previous message saying I blocked it. So I guess it was the real Derek. So he should be back now. He says his membership expired. All right. Well, that sucks. Poor Derek took a bullet tonight. All right. Anyway, let's actually get into here. Here we go. Ready? Resume. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. None of what? She wants to drown herself? Definitely unique art style. Look at that. It's very artistic. May 29, 1998. Late, late 90s. Route 66, Arizona. All right. Get your kicks on Route 66. Daddy, are we going to play? Shut up! Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're going to play. <laughs> now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... I have to pick something? So what can I pick? The truck? The fence? I want the road sign. They won't let me pick the road sign. Your own car? That would be a really lame question. What color is our own car? What color is the restroom? What does that even mean? How does the restroom have a color? All right, ask her... What color is the truck? That would probably be a good question for a kid. Um, that big truck way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the exhaust pipe? Um, that's where all the smoke comes out. And it's gray. <laughs> hey, you are wrong. This it's metallic silver. Fa like fault. Ready for the next level. You fail. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, I leave you out here by yourself forever. Oh, all right, that was pretty mean. <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Okay. Let me just have one last look around. Dad, why am I so skinny and you're so fat? Why do you eat all the food in the house and not let allow me to eat any? Oh, I have to pick something. So I have 17, uh, 20, ready or not ready. Oh, wait, I was actually supposed to look at the colors of the things around. I wasn't paying any attention. I was actually supposed to be looking at the colors of everything around, so she's going to say something. I need to know what it is, right? Oops, I guess I should have paid attention. By the way, the beige vest has one. Let me get the beige vest, and then we'll get started. We won't have any more interruptions here. Ugh. Okay, guys, so here I am, looking like an idiot. All right. Now, just to say something up front, and then we'll, we'll zoom. I wear this because we hit support goals tonight. It's a way to be silly. I look kind of dumb. It, you know, it doesn't match having a vest with a cowboy hat on. Everyone knows this, right? Like, you do this. I do this in celebration of you guys supporting my channel and my streams and all of that. All right. So, for me, it's funny to dress like this. However,. If you're ever walking down the street and you see someone wearing gunner glasses, a cowboy hat, and a beige vest all together like this, turn around and run away as fast as you possibly can. Just take that advice from me. Okay, so shout out to Roadblocks, who re-upped his membership for three months and the beige vest is the best vest. Thank you. And Alex from Phoenix did a super chat. He says, then evil Superman will swoop down and he vision them out of existence at the end of the game. Well, that would be if this was... 
as Kingdom Come falls, but this is as Dusk falls. So there you go. Thank you very much, Alex. For no, what would happen is like Superman would be fighting like uh, like Lex Luthor in the street and just have collateral damage and murder everyone around and not care. So Vince is played by Elias Tofexis. He's been in many TV shows like Star Trek Discovery and The Expanse. His voice talents were in Gotham Knights, Horizon Forbidden West, and Genshin Impact. He sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger exactly on which one of those I might have heard him in, but his voice definitely sounds familiar to me. Cool. Oh, shit. I guess we'll say we're ready. I'm going to fail this. You know that, right? Okay. Shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Oh, fuck. Hmm. Five, six, seven, or peak. Peak! I'm going to take a quick look at the backpack, and it looks no like peaking. there's... Oh! Well, we know there's six. We know there's six, but that's kind of messed up. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to say five. Is it five? Nope. It's six. I win. I win. I let her win. I let her win. Mommy, I won. You did? Great job, Lovebug. I'm proud of you. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. Back in the car. We still got 45 states license places to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Yeah, Derek, I shouted that out. I read it out. You don't... Is that... Derek, is that all you or is someone impersonating you? I'm just curious. Because if that's impersonating Derek, I have to ban the impersonator. I don't know why Derek would paste, post it up that much. That's ridiculous. Because I already shouted it out. Ah, yeah, here it is. Is this a faker here? Looks like it. Hold on. Now I screwed up. Oh, God damn it. It's got to be a faker. Okay. I'm going to block the guy who's spamming. Hopefully that took care of it. I got him. Don't worry, I got him. He can't post anymore. I just blocked him. Okay. <laughs> you... You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh... You know, I was getting yeah, constipated I'm on fine. Tuesday, so... so... Tried for about an hour Why to go. Couldn't go. Weird again? It's nothing, hon. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding her dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. What? Uh, what? So. <laughs> okay. Grandpa. That was an interesting Wait, statement. I'm your grandpa. All this oh, time, look at the cute dog. My grandpa. <laughs> How far did you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. Was that dog even on a leash? It's cute, though. I wonder what the dog's name is. Oh, there's a little vibration. There was a little bit of vibration as he was going to put the car in, into uh, into gear here. Shout out to an anonymous tipper who tipped $4.20. Says the game would have been benefited from the inclusion of a comedy relief character like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> oh, yeah. So everyone's in, in there. And all of a sudden, in the back, they go, Misa think we should go to 7-Eleven and get a big Slurpee. <laughs> what the hell? All right, crew, buckle up. <sighs> Make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. Oh my god. <laughs> so we got his dad, their daughter, and a dog, their family dog. That's nice. I wonder where they're headed. What the hell? He's singing. <laughs> Oh, I know that song. That's a good song. I'm gonna get content ID on that one, but it's a good song. <laughs> she fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. You are my flock, and I oh, plan God. to herd you 
to St. Louis in high spirits. Uh, nice maybe he's a religious nut. I wasn't taking the scenic route your idea. I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. It'll be great. Look, I'll survive or pretend it's a vacation. positive hey it's gonna be awesome i'll learn the banjo get myself a ticket to country palooza <laughs> ha ha you're very funny st louis is as urban as it gets and you know that <laughs> and actually the whole city's turning around these days i'm kidding i know it'll be fine okay, moving to missouri you've got your tenure <laughs> i've got my new job <laughs> At Subway, making delicious foot-long Subway sandwiches with the new Subway series menu. Now available at Subway. <laughs> Book one, Collision. All right, books. This, this game's in books, huh? make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular. Sued those bastards in the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. What? Signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but so what I happened? think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. Something with an airline settlement? You might be right. I need time to think. I'll be I'll make him like Mr. Positive, so you might be right. But it's I don't really understand fully what they're explain what they're talking about. There was some kind of an airline settlement going on? I know, it's just it's hard. I and mean, once I sign, that's it. I'll never work for an airline again. Huh. Oh, look at the lizard. Woo! He got out of there. In two frames of animation. Vince two rocks was a county. Good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. What was I like in high school? Huh? What? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. So uh, Zoe wanted you to come. We wait. We didn't want your old stinky ass to come. Our our daughter did. So we want to appease her, keep her to shut up. This is the 1990s. They didn't have like you know smartphones or video games to play in the car on a road trip. Well, I guess they did. They had the shitty Tiger Electronic ones, but those would last like 10 minutes. You get bored of it. But anyway, so we brought you along to, to be entertainment for her. Now shut up and talk to her. We don't want to hear your bullshit. <laughs> okay then. There was Game Boy, but Game Boy seriously died so fast. You guys have no clue. The original Game Boys, the batteries would die within like an hour. Even the fucking, you know, full charge battery, you'd have a new battery. That thing would be dead in an hour. It, it sucked the energy out. Really, there wasn't a lot to do on a road trip in the 1990s. It was no internet, no, no real portable video games of anything to talk about. That's why do you think they had Tiger video games? Because they fucking didn't die that quick. Anyway, Michelle did it on gym enough. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Let them fight. Let them fight. Well, Zoe appreciates me, even if no one else does. Oh, look at her little face. She wouldn't dream of making an old man feel he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, swipe. Swipe. Mash. Oh. Holy shit. They got sideswiped. Zoe. Are you okay, Pumpkin? What happened? She's just shaken, I think. Oh shit, is it leaking fuel? Great. Oh, how did that happen? How do you, wait a minute, what? What would have pierced the fuel tank? Hey. From a side swipe. Thanks for coming back. If you can Learn how to drive, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Country kids. Oh, there's a person. Wow. Lucky we're still in one piece. So, er Derek, with some more information, he's Erica Luttrell is Michelle's voice actor, famous for her roles as Zoe in Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, that's Zoe. Oh, cool. And Bangalore and Apex Legends. I don't know. I, I never played that much. Also in Westworld as new mother. Wow, she's pretty high profile then. She's damn high profile with what she's doing. That's not you, Derek. Oh my god. 
We really have to have these uh, no, these fucking imposters. Let me see here. This shit's going to start again. Here's why it's going to start again. Because Derek's membership just ran out. So now people are going to impersonate Derek constantly. All right, so I blocked this idiot too. We're going to have 100 Derek's again because Derek doesn't have a membership. If anyone gives memberships tonight, pray Derek gets one. So we'll have to put up with this nonsense from assholes. My sprinkler took a shit to the dollar fifty. Says the game is kind of jarring. What do you mean? You can't handle the fact that there's like an interracial couple or something. Your jar, you got your Jimmy's ra ra rustled here. You can't handle it. Come on, it's twenty twenty two. You disgusting. Okay, anyway, let's continue. <laughs> So, now they're fucked. Their car's leaking gas in the middle of nowhere. Two Rock, Arizona. Well, Roblox just gifted two memberships. Congratulations to El Grey Zorro and Nick who got them. Sadly, Derek did not get it. <laughs> Alright. So, this is the pickup truck that just sideswiped them and somehow Man, pierced their gas the tank. His face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. These dipshits. <laughs> That's the one. 28 North Woods. Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay. Jade, I did not run tonight. And uh, food was pretty good. It was baked chicken for dinner. Thank you, Wings of Temptation, for Super Jay. says, Ch Chubby asked Jesse Pinkman, going back for one last cook in the desert. <laughs> Wow. Well, if you're a fan of uh, Breaking Bad, you got that reference. Jay. What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. You shouldn't have brought him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive. We keep the house. Everything goes back to normal. Oh, I have to choose it. Oh, shit. Who lives here? What if we fail? Sure they're not home seems dangerous. I'll say they're sure they're not home. And you're sure it's empty? Jay Friday, is his name. He takes his wife to an appointment. Same deal every week. You're always out scoping doctor's in the woods, huh? climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. And you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Let me guess. They want then him to break in. Chance. Rob the place. Hop that fence and find a way in. I knew it. Oh. Yep. Does Ma know you took that? No, nope. but someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Sawed hey, off shoddy. Party. Dale, the code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. 5926. Everyone remember that. 5926. Shout out to the Fallen. Can we have the membership? Says, How do I gift memberships? I think it's under the membership button. The option should be there. Uh, if you don't see it, it might not be available in the version you're looking at, or it might not be available in your country. But most people, I think, said it's under there. Baxter Clyde tipped $4.20 asking, did I ever own a Neo Geo Pocket? The fighting games were amazing. Uh, yes, I actually did have a Neo Geo Pocket. Um, uh, and it was good. I got it late, though. I got it late in its life cycle. I had the... It was blue camo, which is weird. It was, like, camouflage blue. And, yeah, I had... Um, it was Street Fighter versus uh, uh, SNK or whatever that game was called. I can't remember what it was called, but I had that one on there, and it was cool. It was like you know how I, right now I'm playing Gem Fighter. It was literally Gem Fighter, but it was Street Fighter characters versus SNK characters from like King of Fighters fighting, and they were like little chibis fighting with cartoonish graphics. It was a really good game. I absolutely loved it. And then uh, thank you for the tip. And then my sprinkler took a shit, tipped another dollar fifty, and said, "I am not used to this art style." Well, hopefully you get used to it. I'm okay with it. Like I said, I used to actually. Watch shows that look like this. So I'm okay with it, but I know it's jarring that it's not full motion, right? Okay, let's continue. 5926. All right. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. Shout out to Malcolm, who re-upped his membership for seven months as long live DSP. We got swipe. There we go. Uh oh. Cletus. And he looks hungry. Talk to, sneak past, or throw a stick. Why would that stick be there if you couldn't throw it? Hey. 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 
Oh shit, that didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. Mash! The dog wants Ding Ding. And he wants your face. It looks delicious. Kibbles and human so nose. Up like this. Wait, how did he lock it? There's no lock on that door. <laughs> that was it. SNK versus Capcom Match of the Millennium. That's the game I had. It was super good. I love that game. What the fuck already? It's the big bad wolf. Oh, it's just his fucking funny. friends or family what or whatever. Happened? He's got a Doberman. I had to lock it in the shed. What's that? <laughs> oh my Idiot. god. They remind me of like Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. He's bully, bully asshole who does whatever he wants. Whose house is this? Dante Romero, king of the pigs. Huh? Wait, the sheriff? The sheriff's house? You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... Look. Wouldn't you think the sheriff's house would have a security system of some sort? Not just a dog? I mean, seriously. When you're a sheriff, you probably have, you know, a lot of people who don't like you for arresting them or locking them up, and they probably need to have some safety mechanisms in place. Even for 1998... ADT security systems still existed. I mean, yeah, they didn't have full cameras and shit back then for home, but they did have motion sensors and, and you know, she had something. What? way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Oh, great. Go for it, stick to the plan. Just say stick to the plan. Tyler said we only have an hour. Maybe we should start looking for the safe. Ah, whatever. <laughs> He's smart. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is Two Rock, not NYPD Blue. <laughs> There's an old I'm reference, NYPD site. Blue. You guys ever seen NYPD Blue? It was basically a drama from the 90s. Oh, uh, check the painting. Yeah, the safe could be behind the painting. Check that. Good That's a good one. To hide a safe. No. Or not. Nope. Okay. Open the cabinet. Probably not there. Uh, search the wallet. All there is is cabinet and wallet. Is that it? It's not a lot of options. I guess we'll do the cabinet then. I don't think it saves in the fucking wallet. No safe here. VCR. Ugly Sonic. We have this membership for seven months. No. What's up, Ugly Sonic? Stairs. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. He's eating peanut butter? What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? He's intent on doing anything friend. but find the safe a bit at this point. Shut up. I'm working on it. What an idiot. He's literally fucking with everything except what they're supposed to be focusing hey. on. When life gives you lemons. <laughs> Come here. Help me get a little payback. He's pissing in the bottle. <laughs> Come on. Now wait, 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 wait. Come here and let me get a little payback. He wants help. Pissing into a bottle. What does he want him to do? Hold it for directional purposes while he fully focuses on the forward movement of the piss? Like, uh, last time I said, okay, you're pissing in a bottle, that's fine. You don't need me near your dick, right? What is he saying here? <laughs> I want to piss in this bottle. However, I may not have enough to fill it to the brim. You might have to tag in in the middle, all right? So get ready. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Uh, maybe next time, you dumb fuck. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. You're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right. Enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay. Did they have DNA testing in the 90s? They did. But it wasn't as good as we have today. But it's funny because I hear about cold cases all the time now being reopened today with DNA evidence they had from the 90s and they couldn't fully, like, test it back then. And they're finding out who committed crimes today this much. Oh, shit. Where's wife? Oh, 
Oh boy. Now you're in trouble. Best, okay. Obviously they're in the wrong, but best thing to do, just get the fuck out of the house and get out of there. The moment you do anything, you try to grab her or anything, all you're doing is you're getting yourself in a world of shit. You went from straight up robbery to now assault, you know, fucking hostage situation. You just leave immediately. You go zoop and you get the fuck out of the house. So I don't know what happened here that they're so dumb that they didn't realize that the, that some that he, they say he takes her to an appointment and he's not or something or maybe this is just the exception where it didn't happen. But years get the fuck out. Jazz, you think I'd be able to fix a car? You okay? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> seen one motel, you've seen them all. The Desert Dream Motel. Okay. You guys go on ahead. Get a bottle of water. No one drank bottled water in the 1990s. Okay, yes, they did. I'm just exaggerating. It wasn't as common, but yes, they, they still, especially when you're on travel trips, you would buy bottled water. Thank you, Ugly Sonic, for the super sticker, a dancing anthropomorphic pair saying number one fan. It's actually weird, but entertaining at the same time. Thank you for that. Let's get Ugly Sonic on the leaderboard. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Continue. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I can stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Hello? It's like a diner rest stop, but there's no one there. It's like everything. There's a diner, a motel, everything in one. Ring the bell or wait? Nah, I ring the bell, of course. Pa oh, it says patience is a virtue. All right, I'll wait then. Since it says that, I'll wait. Hey. Sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. She was taking a shit. Hi. <laughs> we got in an accident. Hi, we got an accident. If you want. Oh. Oh, what's happened back there? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn the fan on air it out. Okay. Sophia, I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and a number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanics away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. <laughs> I'm doing something! Please, one room, talk to the manager. Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. And the smell! Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars... Daddy's real good at cheating. <laughs> and I'm watching like a hawk. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. Oh. I mean, wait a minute. What? I mean, that could mean things on multiple levels. First of all, immediately your daughter calls you out in front of someone who you're trying to convince to trust you. And also, the mother's right there. And she was like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> wow. Shout out to Mark of the Vampire who took the dollar fifty. He said, through your sacrifice of self, you become holy. Through your strength, all be saved. Thank you very much. How did you know all about that? I don't know how you know about my second job as uh, a uh, exorcist. But I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> wow. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norma to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, oh, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. 
By the way, finders keepers. I fixed that shit. Hey, it's mine now. Do I know you? <laughs> nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Does he actually know the dad? Huh. Uh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? <laughs> oh, you know what? Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? No, we all so know nature's jumping. evil. Watch the Bible Channel. Watch my show. <laughs> it's educational. Oh, I missed a haiku. DC says, I missed a haiku because I was laughing so hysterically. He says, greetings. Here's a dusk to dawn. Wait a minute. A dusk to dawn haiku from dusk till dawn is a completely different thing. Just so you know, this is as dusk falls. This is not from dusk to dawn. At least I don't think it's from dusk to dawn. That could be a huge spoiler. He says, okay, here's this haiku. Bright summer daylights later descends into night from dusk till dawn's rise. I mean, that's actually nice. But this is from dusk till dawn is a different kind of story. Like, completely. <laughs> okay. Tell her no or let her watch TV. Why not let her watch the Nature Channel? Tell her yes. You know, I'd rather have her watch the Nature Channel than cartoons, right? Right, a brain. So go ahead. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. Go ahead. Study the wildebeest. Cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. And this is when all the workers become vampires and suck their blood in their sleep. It feels pretty sore. That would be as dust till dawn. Would you mind rubbing it for a minute? Nice room. Looks just like mine. <laughs> Look at her face. Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> you have to make the choice. Choose carefully. Stay with your, your I guess, wife, Michelle, or go with your dad, Jim. Uh, it seems like he has something super important to talk about. She, I mean, obviously you can give her the shoulder rub later, but honestly... You know what? I See, here's the thing. I would actually be honest. I'd be like, Dad, I really want to spend a few minutes with my wife. Can this wait? And I'll, I'll come see you as soon as I can. I just want to cool down here for a few minutes. But instead, they're going to make you choose, which I don't like. Anyway, uh, shout out to Dad B Rad, who just did a super chat. It says, I'm a fellow 40-year-old dude. Found your channel for Review Take USA. Which game do you think is better, Mario 3 or Super Mario World? Super Mario World is my favorite Mario game of all time and still remains that to this day, even though I still end up playing new ones I haven't played over time. Like, I, I just recently played a couple years ago Super Mario Sunshine for the first time. Um, I still haven't played Super Mario Galaxy 2. I still think Super Mario World's the best one. Thank you so much for the super chat and welcome to the stream. And <clears throat> if you can't talk because you're a newcomer, it's because we have a 24-hour sub, sub rule. You have to sub to the channel for 24 hours to talk. That's the way I avoid trolling, and I apologize for that. But uh, you'll be able to talk tomorrow. Thank you for the super chat. All right. Fuck. I feel like the right thing to do would be to stay with your wife. But if you don't go with Jim, you're going to miss a critical story element, which you don't want to miss, right? So I'm thinking you should, at this point, because it's a game. If this were real life, I'd probably stay with Michelle. But because it's a game and it's obvious this is going to advance the plot, I'll probably go with Jim. Shout out to Gaspavelli who just re-upped his membership. It says 5926. Thank you, Gaspavelli. We have to remember that. Uh, I guess we'll go We'll go with Jim. <clears throat> See what he wants. Sure, I'll come. Now she's pissed. See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Don't even apologize and say I'll be right back, honey. Or it Thomas, it's here, boy. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't mean to cause a fuss in the car earlier. Can't be easy having me yanking the chain like that when you two are so on edge. Are you about to give me marriage advice? Tuh. Because if I recall, you walked out on yours. Oh. No, no. I just wanted to say... His marriage advice. He walked out on his own marriage advice. You see, not his marriage. He's actually a very good husband. Anyway. Thank you. For these last few months... Getting to know you again, getting to know Zoe, it's been a blessing. I'm glad she got to meet you. Know the worst part about living with it? Well, having this tumor in He has head. a tumor in his head, he's dying. Fear of death, living with a certainty, regretting your choices. Look 
question mark of it all? How long do I have? Am I making the right choices? <laughs> you make a good shrink, you know that? <laughs> More like a neurotic patient. Well, you're not wrong. I do ask myself all those things, but they're not... What I meant is the guilt. The never-ending guilt. I disappeared for 30 years. Whoa, he did, huh? I can only imagine. That must have been for you. And your That's mother. a hell of a deadbeat dad. Oh, sorry. Could get high and flip off the world. Wow. Don't complain to me. Sounds kind of fun. You're here now. Why did you do it? Why don't you say that? Why did you do it? Have a serious conversation with him about it, right? <clears throat> How could you have thought you'd be happier without your family? I mean, without mine, I'd, I'd be. I don't know. I guess I just never liked being tied down. Family, I felt trapped, but not by you, by the responsibility. Hmm. I think it's the same thing. I'm sorry, Sam. I am, and I know I have done nothing to earn your trust, but I need to ask you something. Okay. The doctors, they say I might have as little as two years. They don't have a clue, of course. Well, I know you said you inoperable you tumor said that I tracked down some friends there. Just spit it out, Jim. He's full of shit. There's nothing there. How would you feel about me? Yeah. <laughs> house with you and Zoe. <laughs> oh serious? my God. Six months ago, I didn't even know you were alive. Now you want me to, to. I, I, I don't want to be sick in the hospital. I want to be around family. Wow. Dude, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I got even. I gotta call this out. He's gone for 30 fucking years. Now he's dying and all of a sudden he has a crisis where he wants someone to be close to him for his final years. But where the fuck were you for the other 30 years? What an asshole. Seriously, what a selfish asshole. He didn't care about anything or anyone but himself for 30 years. Then he comes back when he's dying and now he wants your pity. What a, what a complete dick, right? And, of course, we don't even know how he was as a dad either. Like, was he a complete scumbag? Or did he abandon him when he was like, really young? I mean, the guy doesn't look super old, so maybe he did abandon him when he was really young. Right? Damn, man. Terrence Booth voices Jim. Terrence Booth. The name doesn't ring a bell. Thank you, Derek. The name does not ring a bell. Oh, man. What would you guys do? Seriously. Would you let him stay with you? Or would you be like, oh, fuck off? Because he lied to him. He lied to him. He said he, all he wanted was a ride to where they were going. He was going to stay with friends. Come to find out he lied to him. He wants to live with him. He just springs this on him right now. Like, what a fucking ass. Tell him they still hire a fucking Wendy's to flip burgers. It's not a good idea. I'll talk to Michelle. <sighs> all right. Here's what I would do. Definitely, you have to have the conversation with the wife. Even if the answer is no, you should have the conversation with the wife. Right? The wife deserves that much. All right. I'll talk to Michelle. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Because they might talk Come and still on, say no, me. but at least then the wife was involved because it's a life decision that she absolutely needs to be involved. You can't just be, oh, I take make all the decisions for our whole fucking family unit. That's fucked Go up. celebrate. <clears throat> celebrate? He didn't say you were staying. He said he was going to talk to her. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. <laughs> what do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it right back. Quick. What? Uh oh. The world. It's them. Oh boy. I say get on the ground. Refuse or do, just do it. He's got a gun to your head, man. You got to do what he says. Good boy. 30 minutes earlier. Oh, we get to see what happened now. Now, hang on. You don't need to call for help. <laughs> Explore the scene. Yank her help button. Run. Just run. Run. Shoot. That's what I would do. Run. Help is on the way. Hey. What the hell was that? You locked her in. Doesn't matter. We need to hurry. 
He didn't even tell him what happened. He's not gonna tell him. They're not running. He's still looking for the fucking money. What are you, a dumb fuck? What a complete jackass. He should be. He should have ran out the door and just ditched the whole thing. Bird the watching. birds of Arizona. What the fuck? You're looking at bird watching books. You just hit the panic button. What are you doing? You're still like a bird watching book. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> he stole a bird watching book. Well, he got a key. What a complete jackass. Open the drawer. What's in the drawer? He's got the key for the drawer now, but what's in there? What the fuck is this? Why is it like a feet magazine? Dude, find the goddamn fucking money, you idiot. Find the money. <laughs> oh, shit. Bullet holes. That's not... Oh, man. Where else do we look? There's nowhere else to look. Oh, wait. Search the bookcase again? He found it. It was... Oh, my God. Dale! I found it! What the... Where's the code? It's 5926, you fucking idiot. I already remember it. Oh, oh yeah, we don't have time. Shit. Got yes. it. I remembered it. Whoa. Dale, check it out. Hurry up. Holy shit. How much does this prick make? That's it. Get the fuck out of there now. Oh my god, they're so stupid. You idiot. Shit. So Derek says that the, the father, I guess his name was Terrence Booth, the grandfather or the father's, uh, he was in a lot of TV series. Boone, Screen 2, Garage Hill, So Haunt Me, The Bill, Silent Witness, London Bridge, I'm Alan Partridge, The Last Salute, Casualty, and East yeah, Enders. I've never go. seen a single one. Can you please move faster? Oh, wait, they are moving fast. It's just that it's, it's stop motion. So. It's, got a big yard. it's like a slideshow. It looks slow. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, who is this? Oh, man. Hey, Becky, it's me. I got your PT rescheduled. Oh, and you, uh, you tripped your alarm again, by the way. Oh, she was doing it all the time by accident. He doesn't know. Oh, sh- Who's there? The cork is a dead giveaway. Front door. Now. Swipe. I always secure my goddamn corks. I knew there was someone in here. <laughs> I think we might have made it. Come over your uh -oh. hands where I can see them. Oh now. no. To ten and go. Who are you? Just a guy who wanted a VCR. How about I shoot you for breaking and entering? I surrender. Okay? On your knees. Hands behind your head. Oh shit. This is C1. I got a 13506 in progress at 28 Northwood Drive. Send back up now. Oh shit. Fight him off! Take off that mask. Let me He's see got a candlestick. Swipe! Oh! Took out the sheriff. Damn. Ah, took out the sheriff. I what happened. Little brother saved my ass is what happened. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <sighs> nice work, guys. Hold on tight. So now they're wanted for assault. And robbery. Armed robbery. Actually, not armed robbery. They didn't have any weapons, but it's still assault. Damn, he hit him hard enough. Woo! Now what? Now? But what happened to the cop? The cop was right on their ass. How did they show up at the hotel and not have the cop right there with them? 
There's something missing. There's part of the story missing in between here. Huh. Shia says, this is definitely different from how my story went. Retro X says, this is definitely different from how my playthrough went. So, apparently the choices really influence things heavily. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck. I thought we lost him at the junkyard. I think they saw ah, him. junkyard. See, they tried to lose they them. Slowed. Listen up. We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? We understand. Whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. Okay. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Zeus. Oh, he's so cute, Zeus. Drive what a name. The way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Prince, we need to do something. They're armed, just stay quiet. Stay the fuck quiet, shut up. Just do what he said. Keep quiet. Don't be and dumb. What if they change their minds? These boys are obviously making it up as they go. Oh my god, shut up. Make him in trouble. We can until dark. Then, we set out cross country. It's her best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta drop move. the weapon. Oh shit! Easy now. Let's I just. I said drop it. She means it. <clears throat> Look, I don't know her very well, but I think she means business. No one ask you. He's right though. I go down to the range twice a week. Joyce. If that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said, take off the masks. It reveals a big oh. Joker smile. <laughs> Take the shotgun. I, I, I. He's too much of a puss. I'm sorry, I can't. He's a pussy. He doesn't want to even involve really, himself. Paul? Yeah. You, grab the gun. Oh shit! Now you're involved. Now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. Uh, just drop it. Drop the gun. Don't involve yourself. Paul was right. No more guns. The dog picks it up. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Should have held on to it. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's. It's in a shutout back. At least no one got shot. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. Okay. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys, you haven't hurt anyone, have you? Nah, we killed the president. <laughs> Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the oh, she up. knows them. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt who thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? <laughs> How about this? I'm setting Zeus. The dog is too. I say nothing. Be quiet. <laughs> Shut it up. Now, he's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Calm the dog. Hey, hey, 
Zeus, remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or you're just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Quiet Zeus or ask Joyce to back off? Oh, God. If you quiet Zeus, it'll put the focus on her. She might get shot. But if you put the focus on... If you say ask Joyce to back off, he might shoot the dog because he's an asshole. Right? <clears throat> I don't know what to do. We gotta take a... We gotta split the video is what we gotta do. Let's split the video. Here we go. Uh... 